Hey everybody, Matty Ice here, and in today's video I'm going to take you through how you can get the exotic Kvostov weapon here in the Final Shape expansion pack. This thing requires a ton of work, so be prepared for a bit of a longer kind of quest line to get you this exotic. So if you do find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel. We're going to go ahead and get into it here. We're skipping over a little bit of the beginning because honestly it's not something that should be difficult to do. But in order to get the legendary version of Kvostov, you actually have to get a bunch of key fragments or encryption bits. And you do that by just picking up all the region chests. And then in the cysts, there's going to be some other things that you have to pick up, like some scrap technology or something. So I'll cover that here in a second. But something that you've most likely seen is motes of light that drop from overthrow bosses. So when you get to the final encounter of overthrow, each unique boss will drop a mode of light, and you need these modes of light in order to get the exotic. So not for the legendary, but for the exotic. So make sure you defeat each unique boss in each overthrow activity, so there's going to be 9 in total. There is currently an issue with the servitor meatball taken guy in the blooming, so make sure you defeat that one as soon as you can, just because it can cause problems later on. So you'll see here in the background gameplay though, I just defeated the tormentor version and he drops a little purple thing on the ground, that is the Moat of Light itself. It does not come from the chest, it comes from the boss itself. So make sure you pick those up. I'm not sure if they go to your Postmaster or not. Just keep an eye out for those. That's how you know if you've defeated that boss or not. There is also an issue with the Triumph tracking. So just try to keep track of which ones you've defeated and which ones are dropping the moats. Now, as I mentioned before, the encryption bits. This is for the legendary version of Kvostov. And outside of the region chest, which I believe there's nine of, you're going to have to go into each of the cyst activities and look for these kind of piles of scrap on the ground. Most of them are after you've beaten the cyst, so just try and get through the cyst and then follow the guide here. For the creeping darkness key, you're going to look for this cave. After you defeat the boss, there's a bunch of stalactites and stalagmites. On the ground at the back of that cave, you'll find the pile of scrap. For the sword logic, you're going to want to progress until you get to this area where you have to defeat this ogre. Go ahead and defeat the ogre and then drop down. You'll see this other shielded acolyte that you have to kill in order to progress through the cyst. This one you actually don't have to finish the entire cyst to do, but it can still be helpful just for like the quest progress and everything like that. But where this acolyte is, you're going to want to keep going further while you're down at this lower area, and you'll see some of those kind of chitin things that you need the sword to break. So you do have to be mid-cyst, you can't actually do this one, you can't backtrack to it. But behind those kind of chitin things are the encryption bits. For the Moth Cave, when you're in this area where the final bosses are, there's three of those bosses, drop down to the bottom and you'll see this little cave down here. In this cave is going to be the pile of scraps. And then we're going to move on to the Slayer one. For the Slayer, again, once you've defeated the final boss, you're going to look for this cave that has the roots kind of coming down in front of it and all inside of it. Inside this area, right behind this kind of central tree root, is going to be the pile of scrap you're looking for. In the Searing Light, again, just like Slayer, you're going to look for this purple room after you defeated the boss. Inside this purple room, you're going to find the pile of scrap kind of over to your left side. I believe there's also a feather in this room, so you can go ahead and grab that if you want. All right, inside the lava one, once you defeat the boss, a kind of door opens up on the ground floor that was previously sealed off by like a taken wall. Again, it's just kind of a cave that extends back. If you have a sword, you can dodge lava. Otherwise, you can touch it for half a second. You'll be fine. But progress through that area. And when you get to this land, right before you get to the next section of lava, off to the right, there's going to be a little hole in the wall that has the scrap in it. Now this should be the last one that you need and it will combine all your encryption bits into an encryption code. So then you want to go ahead and fast travel to the impasse and make your way over to the divide. This is how you're going to get to the chest where the legendary Kvostov is. This is where you initially picked it up. It's The chest is in the same place. You've probably seen it and passed it multiple times and it's probably told you that you've been missing something in order to get it. So follow me on screen if you don't know how to get there. Otherwise, it's not too far from the impasse. Now, as I mentioned before, in order to get the exotic version of this, you're going to need the Motes of Light. So once you've 
collected all nine from the overthrow bosses, you're going to need to collect the remaining eight in order to get 17 total from the Traveler Vision Balls that are strewn throughout the area here. If you go to your left from the Lost City location, over where the speaker was and where you kind of first ran into Cade, you'll see these kind of pillars with clues on them as to where you can find these. I'm going to just kind of quickly pass through some of these. But what you're looking for are these little Traveler Balls that are just kind of like miniature versions of the Traveler, and you're going to place them on the pedestals as you collect them. You can wait until you get to the end, it doesn't really matter, you don't have to do them in order. You just need to go out and collect them all. So I'm going to go through and show you where they all are, starting at the landing. So if you just fast travel to the landing, you'll be able to get those from pretty easily. A lot of these are near water for some reason, but just from the landing, fast travel, drop down to your left, and literally next to this waterfall is going to be the Traveler. So go ahead and pick that up. That's going to get you a mode of light and give you the progress on the Visionary Triumph. The next one we're going to go to is in the Blooming. This one is a little bit high up in the tree, so I recommend using your skimmer from the fast travel point. You can just skim all the way over there and it's going to be pretty easy to see, but you have to kind of scale the tree in order to get it. So just follow along here and you'll be able to find it. resonates from this object experiences I next one is going to be at the impasse this is one that I actually found just randomly while I was doing campaign things so it's not gonna be on the screen for me here so just kind of pretend it's there uh, but from the impasse just turn around skim all the way over here where the prismatic chest is and inside this little ring is gonna be that vision of the traveler so you would just have to jump over to it and grab it next is gonna be in the lost city so if you backtrack from Micah 10, kind of where you initially came through, you're going to get to this area that should look pretty familiar. Go diagonally to your right and you're going to see this little red platform. Keep following this side and you're going to again see a waterfall. And next to that waterfall is going to be the vision of the Traveler. Traveler's experiences in this object. Next on the list is going to be the refraction. As soon as you make your way into the refraction, just kind of stop and down to your left, you're going to notice this little rock platform. And again, kind of by the waterfall, is going to be the vision of the traveler. So drop down to your left and you should be able to see it pretty easily. Next on the list is going to be the seclusion. So this is kind of where Zabala's house is. You're going to actually have to go into the cyst a little bit for this one. So once you open that cyst door, go ahead and jump up and to your right, kind of behind you, and that's going to be where it is. You'll notice like this little hole in the cave, and that's where the vision of the traveler is. So you do need to kind of start this particular cyst out. It's the one that takes you behind the waterfall. Uh, I believe it's the Slayer one. Next up, we're going to go to the Divide. So again, starting where the Kvostov chest was, where you picked up the Legendary. Just keep progressing that way. You need to climb all the way up the wall, basically. And at the top, there's going to be a little satellite dish. Behind that satellite dish is going to be the vision of the traveler. So just follow along here if you don't know how to get there. And I will see you at the top.
So this should look pretty familiar because there is a prismatic chest in the same area. But again, over to the left here is going to be the Traveler Vision. The Traveler's memories and experiences are imprinted on this object. Finally, we have Transgression. So again, once you enter the Transgression, just follow along here. But you're essentially going to hug the left wall and the left path all the way through. You're going to get into one of those kind of orange hazy areas. And on your left side, you'll see the Vision of the Traveler. Again, just follow along here. I'll take you straight there. And this one should be the final one you need. The final mode of light when you pick that up it turns all your modes of light into just one primordial mode of light basically and that's what lets you get the exotic version of kvostov again just follow along here and i will see you at the end can feel the traveler's experiences impressed on the so now that you've collected all the visions of the travelers and you have your primordial mode of light go ahead and place all the visions in the speaker room and when you do that a chest will spawn in the middle of the pool of water this chest has the exotic inside of it but you're unable to open it until you get that primordial mode of light so you can spawn it early but there's no real point it just kind of sits there but once you have that primordial mode it unlocks the chest basically or allows you to open it and then you'll have your exotic Kvostov. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.